Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Disney related video. Today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite quick service restaurants on, in the Walt Disney World parks at Walt Disney World. Um, so in no particular order, I will just be sharing the restaurants that I enjoy the most and kind of like what I would order if I were there right now. Um, so to start, number one, I am a vegetarian or a pescatarian, so I don't eat meat, but I eat fish and I drink milk and cheese and dairy and stuff like that. But so you're not going to be hearing about any like chicken legs or steak or anything like that. Um, and number two, if you don't know what I'm referring to when I'm talking about a quick service restaurant, it is the restaurants that you would order from a counter and then either get the food at the counter and take it back to your seat or you sit down and they bring your food to you but you do not have a waiter you pay at the counter things like that generally like the less expensive restaurants in the parks um, and there are the Disney dining plan there is like just a quick service dining plan so those are all of your credits and then the next level of the dining plan you would get one quick service per day and a table service which is a video that will be coming up soon and then I'll probably also do one about my favorite restaurants at the resorts at Walt Disney World. So without further ado let's get started. I'm going to be talking about one from each park and then two from Epcot, one from Future World which is the front area of the park and then one from World World Showcase, which is the back area. So starting at Magic Kingdom, my favorite is Columbia Harbor House. So I've actually only eaten here once and when I did eat there it was during the King Blah. It was during the Keys to the Kingdom tour um, that Ethan and I did for his birthday. So it included lunch and it was there. It was upstairs. Um, in like a separate section where we didn't actually order at the counter. We had like told them what food we wanted ahead of time and they brought, it was there when, ready waiting for us like halfway through the tour. Um, but it's in Liberty Square and it can be pretty busy but the food was really really good. They have like seafood options. Um, so I think Ethan got the lobster roll and I'm generally not one for lobster. Um, but I remember trying it and it was really good and I think I had like the shrimp and fish platter or something like that um, But it was really good as well. So they have lots of they have like vegetarian options seafood and lots of meat options as well um, I like the second story because it looks out into Liberty Square and it's kind of just a nice quiet restaurant among like the hustle and bustle of that area of the park that it's cool to like just sit and look out and people watch and it's just really fun. Um, if I was to go there right now I would probably get the salmon which I've actually heard is really good but I haven't had it before to speak about. So next at Animal Kingdom is Harambe Market which is in the Africa section of the park. So we ate here on our Animal Kingdom day on my last trip which um, I'll leave a recap or the playlist up there for you because I vlogged that trip. Um, but it is kind of like different sections that you can like order from the different windows. Um, but we had a group of nine and there were a lot of options that everybody found something. I had the roasted vegetable platter and that would be what I would order if I was to go back. I really enjoyed it. And one thing that you need to order when you go there is the water lamp watermelon lemonade it is so good and after you've had that and know what that tastes like and smells like then you need to get the wax melt or the candle from Walter and Rosie Candle Co because I have that in my room right now and it smells so good um but it's really nice it was I remember it being really filling really tasty everyone enjoyed their meal and then they also have the Bebo and the Sparberry I think that's what it's called drinks which you can taste at Club Cool and Epcot so then if you like that then you can get a full size at Animal Kingdom and I think that's the only place you can actually get a larger size of it rather than the small cups at Club Cool but that's my favorite place in Animal Kingdom. In Hollywood Studios it has got to be Pizza Rizzo. Um, two things. Number one, um, I actually haven't eaten at Pizza Rizzo. I have only eaten there when it was Pizza Planet, but um, it was number, like it, it 
was pretty much the same. It was had just like they changed the menu a little bit, but um, basically process of elimination. And number two, like it's kind of only by default, like not great. Like I don't mind the pizza. The pizza fills me up. And then if you're on the dining plan, you also get a side and a dessert. So like more than enough food. We've definitely split food there before. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Hollywood Studios, I'd much rather go to a table service meal than a quick service. Like the, the one on Sunset Boulevard, like I don't really think they have great vegetarian selections. Um, so I'd probably just get like a cheese pizza with, and now it comes with pasta salad instead of like a salad salad. Um, and I'd probably get tiramisu for dessert. And next at Epcot, in Future World, I would go to, my go-to is Sunshine Seasons Food Fair. Um, so it's in the Land Pavilion, which might actually be my favorite pavilion, but I love sitting there and just eating while there are just tons of people coming in, going out. Like, it's just such a busy pavilion because of Soren um, that it's kind of crazy to watch, like, the... the just the sheer amount of people that are going in and out of that pavilion and while you're just like sitting there. Um, but they have a ton of options. The menu right now doesn't specify a ton of like vegetarian options, but I do know that because it like changes um, that they do have a lot of options. They also have my like beloved iced coffee that um, when I went in 2013 at Port Orleans Riverside, Ethan and I would get a nice coffee to go and it's like sweetened so some people might not like it but then on another trip I found out that they had it there and I was really happy. Um, so if I were to go there right now um, according to what is on the menu I would get the vegan korma like chicken because um, it sounds pretty good but there are tons of options, tons of stations like and their cheesecake is pretty good and cheesecake is my favorite. Um, and in World Showcase, it would be Tangerine Cafe in Morocco. Um, we ate there for the first time in 2012. Um, I will try and find a picture of my sister that was inside that pavilion because it's a really good picture of her and I'll try and put that in. Um, but I remember getting the vegetable platter. It was the roasted vegetables at Harambe Market. I might have just said the same name, but... Uh, it was the vegetable platter at in the Morocco Pavilion. It was really, really good, um, and like my the rest of my family found stuff to eat. Uh, but I love wandering the Morocco Pavilion, and I always kind of forget about the restaurants in there. So I would definitely go back there. And then I have two honor honorable mentions for you. The first is the Yorkshire Country Fish Shop in the in England Pavilion because fish and chips is always a good idea and it's nice to be able to get them to go and just sit on the edge of the water and just look out. It's really nice and the fish is really good. So if you don't actually want to go into the restaurant and then another, another honorable mention is be our guest for lunch. We went there on our last trip again with nine people. Everyone had options. Um, you can pre-order if you're on the dining plan or I think even if not, um, if you know what you want. Um, I had the quinoa salad. They also have a vegetarian French onion soup that looks really good and uh, quiche. I think Ethan had the quiche but everyone really liked what they had and it's fun to be able to go into that restaurant for lunch without having to go because now it's a signature restaurant for dinner um, and then it's like I think the breakfast is the same price like no matter what you get so I think lunch is a bit of a better value if you don't want to go for the signature restaurant. But those are my five favorite quick service restaurants at the parks in Walt Disney World. Let me know what you guys like. I want to know what your go-to is in all of the parks um, or even just your favorite quick service in general. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.